$230 million was given to this man to join Cleveland. And by the way, let's go back even further and talk about the whole process of him getting to Cleveland. Texans realize that he's done in Houston. He doesn't want to be there anymore. They're starting fresh. They want to go ahead and just burn the chapter that was the Watson era. And they get phone calls from everybody. Multiple teams want him. Carolina wanted him. Atlanta wanted him. New Orleans wanted him. Cleveland wanted him. And he goes, he meets with Cleveland, and he says, I don't want to play here. I'm not interested in being a part of your organization. I don't want to be known as the dumpster fire quarterback and just another notch on the bedpost. That's what it was. And then Jimmy Haslam says, here's a blank check, how much you want. $230 million guaranteed, the most guaranteed money ever offered at the time. Cool. Sign on the dotted line. Here you go. And then he changes his entire outlook and he signs with Cleveland. Cleveland goes ahead and trades three first-round picks, a couple mid-round picks, and now Houston gets to start its rebuild, hopefully the right way, and Deshaun Watson gets to be the missing piece of this puzzle that will get the Browns back to Super Bowl aspirations. Last night, by halftime, he had 85 passing yards. He had a pick six, and he also looked abysmal on third down. Couldn't hit the backside of a boat, let alone wide receivers that were wide open in a zone coverage. And the offense was pitiful. You can win with Deshaun Watson when you have an exceptional offensive line, which they do. You can win with Deshaun Watson when they have a decent receiving core, which they do. And you can win with Deshaun Watson when you have an exceptional run game, which they did before, unfortunately, you lost Nick Chubb for the season. His year's done. They are now very much concerned about potentially where he goes moving forward in his entire NFL tenure. Because you forget the need that he suffered massive damage and nerve damage against Tennessee in 2015 was the same nerve he injured last night. So you are very much on watch about what happens moving forward with Nick Chubb. And let's just get this out of the way. Nick Chubb is one of the best players in the NFL. He is the heart and soul of that locker room. He has been the face of the franchise offensively since 2018. And he has been a staple for your industry. So you better go ahead and reward him with whatever the hell he wants. But I just said you can win with Deshaun Watson as long as you have an exceptional offensive line, a good receiving core, and a decent run game. You have all three, and you still lost. He's the problem. It's not the fact that so far he has been so woefully average this season. You got to go back to last season. You got to go back to when he first played. And we all said, oh, well, he's just knocking off the rust. Oh, well, he hasn't played football in over a year, so he's got to be able to figure things out. Just give him time. Last season, he threw seven touchdown passes against five interceptions. He ran in one touchdown, so I guess you could say eight total touchdowns. Finished with a passer rating of under 58%. Finished with a QBR of under 75 And he didn't find a way to get any wins. Oh, wait, I forgot. No, he won one game. Really, the other game against Houston, Houston imploded on itself, so I'm not going to give him that win. He didn't look good at all against Baltimore. Baltimore didn't have a quarterback in that game, so I won't give him that win. But he did have a good performance against the Washington Commanders, so congratulations if you want to call that. The defense won the game for you against Cincinnati. They had a phenomenal performance and held Joe Burrow to under 100 passing yards, and the run offense never picked up the pace. And then last night... You pay for moments like the four final drive. You pay $230 million for him to be the difference maker that gives you the benefit of the doubt that you can go toe-to-toe with anybody in the NFL. That's what a $230 million quarterback is supposed to do. And instead, he goes under duress. He can't find a way to go ahead and connect with any receiver. He's sacked. Oh, and he also goes ahead and throws it out of bounds which eventually leads to a Pittsburgh Steelers touch. I mean, a Pittsburgh Steelers kneel down. Everybody out there who's saying, oh, well, you know, Joey Porter Jr. was holding Donovan Peoples-Jones. That's not the point. You should have never been there. You're paying for this guy to be a top five passer in the NFL. And right now he is a bottom five L7 weenie. That's what you have in Cleveland right now. And everybody wanted to say Baker wasn't the guy. Baker struggled. Baker, Baker, Baker. Baker's 2-0. Baker 
right now has Tampa Bay sitting number one in the NFC South, and I get it. He hasn't played anybody of knowledge. He's got more wins than Deshaun Watson. He's looked better than Deshaun Watson with a worse offensive line, with an insufficient run game, and a defense that's average at best. And that's the guy that you want to replace him with. That was the guy. You're paying $230 million for a failure of an experiment who never found his footing and after all the hype has yet to give you a reason for optimism. If I'm Cleveland, I'm worried this morning. If I'm a fan of the Browns and I'm waking up and I'm driving into work and I'm trying to find a positive in last night, the only thing is that Kenny Pickett is not looking like the solution in Pittsburgh. So maybe you have an opportunity to finish in third place in the AFC North. But you're not going to the playoffs. Nick Chubb out, you're done. Not with this offense. And the person I feel worse for right now is Kevin Stefanski. I remember back when Kevin Stefanski was sitting at that press conference and you could see Andrew Barry and Jimmy Haslam smiling beyond belief because they got their guy, they got their quarterback, they were so excited to go ahead and start a new era. And Stefanski looks miserable. You want to know why? Because if he knew his job was on the line, He knew that even if Deshaun Watson sucks, he's the one that's going to pay for it. And you know what he is? He's going to get fired. He's going to have to go find a new job. And the worst part is because of the record, he's not going to get an opportunity to become a head coach for, I would say, at least two seasons. And even then, he's got to go to a team that has the right offensive construction, that has the right personnel, and then build that roster and the persona back up to get right back in the driver's seat. Kevin Stefanski is going to get screwed out of a job because a $230 million flop couldn't flambe his way to a victory against Pittsburgh. And the defense had to go ahead and carry its end of the bargain in both games. And guess what? Somehow they didn't do that either. You do realize that last night Deshaun Watson had one touchdown pass and two face mask calls? A quarterback, a quarterback had two face masks called against him. You know he shoved a ref and he wasn't thrown out of the game? You see him get frustrated on the sidelines because if he's not able to deliver? No kidding. Because you're the problem. Because you're the issue. You're in trouble. You are. And the worst part is you can't get out of the deal because Jimmy Haslam made sure of it. Nobody's picking up that contract. Nobody is paying for a $230 million disaster that already comes with enough baggage to load up an airplane to the world beyond belief and the production that you've seen so far. Two games this year. Deshaun Watson has two touchdown passes, two interceptions. He ranks number 18 in QBR, 389 passing yards. By the way, he also has three turnovers. By the way, you can say, oh, well, that pick six that happened in the first quarter by Alex Highsmith, that was because of a bumbling fall. The ball shouldn't have been bumbled. The ball should not have been batted in the air for as long as it was. It should have been a clean pass that gave you a first down. That's an errant throw by Deshaun Watson. Watson fumbles the ball. Alex Highsmith alley-oops it to TJ Watt, who made record-setting numbers last night and became a part of Pittsburgh Steelers history, and he walks it into the end zone to take the lead. So yeah, Deshaun Watson lost you the game. And Deshaun Watson's going to lose you a lot of games this year. And now that you don't have a rushing attack, and now that you don't have a great consistency on offense, and you're seeing the offense lose players dropping like flies, you may be lucky to go 7-10. and 10. The same record that you were last year with Jacoby Brissett as your quarterback. But Jacoby Brissett is making, what is it? Oh yeah, like $222 million less than Deshaun Watson. The defense is fine. You have weaponry. You have a good coach, but you don't have the quarterback. And so far, congratulations, Cleveland. You bet on Deshaun Watson, and you lost big. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. Don't hit the X button yet. Make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all of our daily content found on Just Saying It and anything else that we post on this channel. Bye.